Jay, Jay Yo, what's good, people? It's Jay Cactus. I'm here at Airtight Studios in Manchester. Right now, I'm going to be cooking up a full UK drill beat using the FLK 61. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is a guitar. A lot of people know me for dark UK drill beats, but depending on the vibe, depending on how I'm feeling, I like to switch things up. So today I want to make something a little bit more melodic. So I've got my guitar selected, and I'm not amazing on keys. I don't know how to play everything perfectly, but luckily with the FL key, I don't really have to know everything because I can go to shift, scale, and I can actually select my scale. So I want to create more of a Spanish vibe today. So I'm going to select the harmonic minor scale and then all I need to do is just select a note and that's going to be my root note so let's just go with C harmonic minor and now I can just record in a basic chord progression usually when I'm thinking of melodies I know a lot of chord progressions in my head and I want to make something kind of catchy so I'm going to start off with something simple and build around that so I'm just going to turn on the metronome hit the record button and then play Cool, so I've got my basic chords down. From here, if I wanted to, I could just hit the quantize button and that's gonna snap everything to the grid. But a lot of the times I like to keep things a bit more natural, so I'm gonna leave this one off. So I've just made a couple changes to the chords just to fine tune it. And now I need some kind of counter melody. So I've got a copy of my guitar. I can press the channel rack button down just to select this second layer. And now we can record something else here. Make sure I've got my scale selected still. Okay. Got the metronome on, record button, and let's go. Okay, something like that will work. All right, so from here to get the bounce going, I'm gonna start off with my counter snare. And I'm gonna use the pads because I feel like sometimes clicking things in, it can just be a bit robotic. So this just makes me capture the vibe a bit more. And what I really like is this note repeat. So if I press that, if I hold one of the pads, it's gonna repeat the note. So that's the kind of vibe I want. There we go. So from here, I'm actually going to hit the quantize button just to make sure that's on time. With instruments, I don't mind them being a little bit off grid, but with drums, especially for drill beats, I need that counter snare to be on. All right, from here, I want to add my clapping. So I'm just going to hit channel right down. Same again. I don't need note repeat on for this one. The clap, that's usually something I want quantized. So I'm gonna hit the quantize button again. And I think next, I'm gonna add my kick. We need, a, we need a hard hitting, punchy kick for drill beats. So this one should work. So I've got my basic drums in there. The next thing I start thinking about is a bit of percussion. So I'm just gonna add what I call a perk hit. And this is just gonna emphasize some of the kicks and give the beat a bit of atmosphere. With the pads being velocity sensitive, I can create a bit of a manual delay. Something like that, so I'll show you. All right, cool, so I'm happy with the way it's sounding right now. The next thing I'd move on to is the 808. So let's see what we can record. So we'll go shift back to the channel rack. I'm gonna use instrument mode, select my 808. I feel like the 808 is like, it's needed in a drill beat. Most drill beats are known for the gritty sound and 
what I feel like as a producer, it's just fun to include slides. It's fun to experiment with it. You can almost treat the 808 like an instrument. I've got my guitar there. I've got the count melody there. I treat this as like another layer of that. You can almost make an 808 sing. It's crazy. So let's see what we can make. So I want to make sure the same scale is highlighted. You can see I've still got C harmonic minor. So anything I press now, I know I'm going to be in key. So usually I like to work around the root notes of the chords. In this case, it's just C and G. And then for the filler notes and the slides, I can work around those. So another thing I like about the FL key is you do actually have the option to add the drums from the step sequencer on the pads, but personally, I feel the groove a bit more when I record them in, but it's good that the option's there. Okay, so I've got the eight weight pattern in now. Usually I like to make a couple different patterns, but before I make the second one, I just wanted to add a couple slide notes in there. So from here, I've just selected a few notes as the slides. You can hear how that sounds. All right, so I've got my first pattern down. And one new feature on the FL Key 61 that I really like is the ability to actually clone the pattern and select different patterns. So for example, or from here, I'm actually gonna clone the pattern. So I've got my first one, Shift, Clone Pattern. And now you can see it's created a whole new pattern. And then from here, as long as I've gone to Shift and Patterns for the pattern mode, I can bounce between my two different patterns. So this is my main one, this is my second one. Now I can just make a couple subtle changes to keep the beat interesting. So in this second pattern, I've just added a couple more slide notes, as you can see. Usually I like to have one pattern, which is a little bit simpler, and then towards the end of the phrase, like the end of a 16 bar, I can go a little bit crazy with the slides, but I don't want to do it too much. And then I'll show you how the two different patterns sound together. So I'm going to add the new one in here, play the original. Okay, so I've got the fundamentals of my beat there, pretty much everything I need. At this point, I just like to check my levels and make sure the mix is still sounding clean. And on the FL key, they've introduced faders now and everything's linked up. So if you can see if I bring up the second one, it's just gonna bring up insert two, which is the guitar counter melody in this case. But let's just play it and we'll make sure everything's leveled right. So I actually wanna bring the guitar up. pretty much finished the beat and that was actually a quick process and it was really thanks to this FL key because it just makes everything so simple. Usually if I'm just using a laptop, I spend a lot of time clicking in things, but with this I can set the scale, record something in without making mistakes and even if I do make a mistake, I can undo it. So it just really gives me a hands-on approach. And I feel like when I'm more hands-on, I can come up with more creative ideas or just things that I wouldn't normally do on the laptop just because it's a completely different user experience. Um, but yeah, at this point, I feel like I'm happy with the beat and I'd be happy to bring a vocalist in. So I feel like someone could record easily on this. There's not too much going on. There's not too many layers. And then I can always fine tune things later on. All right, Gio, I'm just going to play it from halfway through the intro. Starts with the hook going into the verse. So we'll just do a practice run so I can set the levels and we'll go for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. 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 She want my jumper, baby, just take it. She wanna bounce, but baby, don't break it. Every fear I face it, like the first brick, I took, I break it. Pull it in fifth and skirt a spaceship. Yeah, 
I grew up in Camden, not about snake shit. Yeah, we well, you know about trapping, like telling fiends to go and taste it. Bread man, make it. I ain't shook, I tame it. Bring champs on his chick, like shake it. Just took a Alright, so I just used the FL Key 61 to cook up a full beat. I had my guy Geo HGS come in to track some vocals. We just made a sick track. And I think it definitely has album potential, man. So I'm excited about this one. Yeah, I'm your guy Jay Cactus. I appreciate you all for watching. Yeah. Yeah.